Today on 3D Outdoors, I'm going to show you how to build your very own trailer wiring test box. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm going to get into how to build your very own trailer test light box. And, uh, and you're probably wondering, well, why would I need one of these? Well, you don't want to be going down the road and get pulled over on the way out to an exciting adventure, whether it be with your boat or your enclosed trailer, camper, what have you, and get pulled over and have to deal with that. Or when you're done with a long day driving home and get pulled over because a light's not working. When you can test them with a setup like this, very simple, you hook everything up. I'll show you how to do that in a minute here. And then each one of these toggle switches you can see is linked to a specific item. Brake light turn signal on one side, brake light turn signal on the other. So very simple to use. Like right now I'll show you, I'm gonna turn on the tail lights right here. Flip the light on. And you can see the lights came on on the trailer. I'll flip that switch off and the light switch is off. So a very simple operation. You can do that with your all your systems on your trailer lights. Now let's get into how to build one of these. I've seen people ask, well, what's the wiring diagram? How do I build that? I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so now on to the main question you probably have is how do I build one of these for myself? What am I going to need to do it with? You're going to need to go to a big box store or an auto parts store or someplace where you can buy the plug. You're going to need six toggle switches. And I used a label maker for the labels, but you could just take a piece of paper and write on them and then tape it on or write it down on a sheet of paper so you know which is which. I'll open up the box here so you can see inside. You're going to need some wire connectors and some wire. I just took wire out of my, I have a bucket that I put scrap wire into and that's where I collected all of this from. And then you're just going to need two clamps of some kind so you can hook onto the battery, however you want to do it. Take and cut your hole in the end. I made a template, scribed it on there. And then I just took a and drilled some holes and then I used a razor knife to cut out the rest. But you could use a, a Dremel tool to cut that out or any other tool you wanted to. And then I used a drill with a bit the size of the switch where it comes through but not too big so that you can clamp down and drill my holes. And what I did at that point is I took and started wiring up and I just took different color wire scrap that I had laying around and when I did it I labeled on my sheet because you'll get this sheet with the plug when you buy it you can see right here it's the Hopkins 7 blade vehicle connector and inside they have the diagram and I just wrote down what color I put to each one before I put it together put it together outside of the box, fished all the wires into the box here with the connector after I put the back of the connector on and then screwed the connector in place. Then I had the toggle switches loose and I took my first wire which was the yellow one which would be my tail lights and I hooked it up to the toggle switch on the bottom and slid it in the box and screwed it down tight. So the first one was in and then I went around that way and hooked, put them in in the order that I wanted them in the switches. Simply off my diagram here so I knew that this was going to be the tail lights and I knew this, the, this was going to be the left turn and this was going to be right turn and this is reverse and electric brake and auxiliary power. So I knew what was what all the way through and you got them all anchored down. I just made jumpers to go all the way down because this is going to be your hot roll. The power is going to be up here when the switch is off. No power can go through the switch. 
but once you flip the power on on that switch the power is going to go through that wire and through the connection to your trailer from the battery that you have hooked up over here and it's as simple as that and so you have one hot wire leading out that goes to the battery and obviously your your lighting system here has a ground on it which is black <clears throat> which is your black wire there so those are your two wires coming out so all you do is jumper those together on the top and you've written down which wire you had what color to so you could hook them to your toggles slide the toggles in and tighten them down because obviously you want your wire on before you put the toggle in because you can't screw it in the bottom once it's in there but once you have it in then you can just put your little jumpers all the way across make everything hot and you're ready to go so with some toggle switch electrical connectors a trailer hitch connector and a box of some kind now it could be this size box or you can go bigger like if I was working in a trailer shop where I wanted that battery inside the box to travel with me so I could just carry it then I would have a bigger box I would use plastic again so that there's no conductor inside of it and then I would just have the battery in the box and the wires connected inside so everything would be internal you don't have to hook up to an exterior battery I'm only going to use this a couple times a year to check my trailers before I use them like once in the spring for the trailers I haven't used over the winter um, and in the spring when I check the boat say the boat trailer or the UTV trailer or there's a smaller trailer that I only use when I haul the lawnmower certain times of the year that I'll check the trailer lights before I use that particular trailer well in my case that battery is sitting in my Vexlar right now so I'm using that for ice fishing as a, a Vexlar power battery but when I need to use it for this I just take it out and bring it over and hook it up it's 12 volts so it'll work fine so there you go if you write down your wiring sequence the way it goes when you put it together in the plug-in you'll know which wire you're hooking up to each switch and then you can label them all and I keep this in the box as well so I'll have that for future reference but there you go there is an easy way to make a trailer light test box this is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom and you can always follow us over at 3d-outdoors.com that's our website see you next time